Jane Wilson here for Horror.com. I am at the press junket for Final Destination 5, where I am about to talk to the doomed cast, Cannon Fodder, Death Toll, and Tony Todd. Let's check it out. We're all gonna die if we don't get off this bridge! Final Destination 5. Who dies during a massage? Seriously. Starts August 12th. You get the unique position in this film of getting the, the premonition, which I, I, that must have been great. It's a great role. I mean, I get to do everything. My hands are in every part of the film. I get to be um, in, a, in a deep relationship with... Uh, with uh, Emma's character Molly, mm -hmm. and then I get to have the intimidating relationship. I get to do all the action stuff. It's a it's a wonderful. It's a lot of character work. And so all the things that I've been a part of um, have been completely separate from one another. So so there is a lot of development, character development in this particular project. Tell me a little bit about what it was like to work in the three D world. I think any director should be able to use whatever palette he wants, he or she wants, to, to as long as that commits their story to be visualized. Uh, but, you know, there's, between 3D and motion capture, there are a lot of new mediums out there that actors have to learn how to embrace mm -hmm. in order to stay current, in order to free their instruments. Mm -hmm. You all, just be careful now. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Creepy guy. Final Destination movies always have the most inventive, ingenious, uh, Rube Goldberg-esque death scene. I can when Dave Koechner gets covered in the tar, and he's trying to hold on for dear life, and when he pulls his hand away, mm. you see part of his hand stay on the bridge and mm. part of it go down with mm. him. That, that's like, kind an of, waffle, like a waffle iron. You know oh, how God, it's I didn't think about oh. that. Oh. Yeah. No! People, the people who are fans of the, the series they will just be so proud and happy, and people who don't know yeah. the series will become fans. Of this wasn't a rush, rush, rush job. You no, know, no. They, it was, it was planned well thought and out. yeah, well thought out. Exactly. Wait, how would and I you, die in the Final Destination? You'd be wearing 3D glasses. Exactly. Oh. You would and have watched else. Final Destination <laughs> Five 2.6 million times. Right. <laughs> and you paid for every single one. Well, <laughs> exactly. And then I will personally kill you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's exciting to be a fan of something and then to actually get to be part of its. Uh, legacy. To see how it all came across, because we shot each one an individual piece. You know, my dismount, me on the floor, you know, everyone's reaction without me, chalk spraying in the air. The character that I played, who was this confident rock star kind of girl who just lived in the moment, and, and you know, finding out about the laser eye surgery, <sighs> that is just, you flip to that page and you're like, okay, how are we going to do that? When we're done, you'll have perfect vision. I'll be right back.